Today I'm gonna to be sharing with you the best product and market research tool I have seen. I haven't seen anyone talking about this and it is completely free in Google Merchant Center. Hey everyone, Frank here with Solutions 8 and today I'm gonna to be sharing with you the best product and market research tool I have seen. I haven't seen anyone talking about this and it is completely free in Google Merchant Center. It's so good that I really didn't want to make this video and give away my secret sauce, but I'm going to anyway. So let me jump right into it. In Google Merchant Center, it is called the Best Sellers Report, and you can access it by opening it up. And then on the left under growth, go ahead and find best sellers. It should be the third one down under price competitiveness. Just a little heads up, I didn't see this in every account, unfortunately. It was only in about half of my accounts. And it seems to correlate with accounts that have an excellent rating on their shopping experience scorecard uh, for people in the US. So just a little heads up on that, you might not see in every account, uh, but if it's in at least one, you can just still apply it to any other, um, anything else that you need to research basically. So the best sellers report, what you can do is sort by time period, look at the top products and top brands in any of Google's categories and locations that it's supported in. So for example, right now I have the United States selected and I'm looking at the sporting goods category. And you can see here, we have the popularity rank change from preceding week, the relative demand image title, G10 category brand and price range for all of these products, which is why I said it's one of the best product research tools I've ever seen. Think about if you're, uh, maybe you're an advertiser, maybe you're a business and you're looking to expand your product line. What do you want to expand into? Well, things that already have really, really good demand inside of Google shopping, especially if that's your main promotional avenue, this is a no brainer. You, you hop in here, you select your category, <clears throat> which there's seemingly dozens, if not hundreds of categories and subcategories to choose from. I guarantee yours is probably in here as well. And you can just hand pick ones, ones maybe that you already have the G10 if you're reselling, which comes along with the product data and reviews. So you can e easily leverage that in Google ads, start up a standard shopping campaign, maybe Pmax, and then run some product ads and start getting uh, sales quickly. So let me just give you a little bit of a tour here. <clears throat> Inside the categories, you can see there's a ton of them. We have office supplies, animal and pet supplies, apparel, cameras, electronics, furniture, home and garden, luggage, media, software, sporting goods, toys and games, vehicle parts. If you open up any single one of these, like furniture, you see all these subcategories, baby and toddler, beds and accessories, benches, cabinets, storage. You open that up further and there's even more um, subcategories. So the combinations are really endless. <clears throat> um, just a little, a little note here. The popularity rank is based on the estimated number of products sold as normal with Google. They're kind of vague about that. Um, I don't know if it factors in the conversions they see happen in the Google ads account or not, or if it's just based on the number of clicks and average industry conversion rates. I would assume that since, so they try not to violate any privacy, um, anyone's privacy, et cetera. So it is a little bit vague, but. I mean, at the least, you know that are getting an extremely high number of clicks. There's a lot of demand for that product. And uh, yeah, you can also see the change from the preceding week. You can look at things on a monthly or weekly basis, and you can even go back in time. In this account, I can go all the way back to May, 2022. So it seems to be about two years worth of data that you can leverage and research, find trends in different quarters, maybe Q4. You can see the products that sell really well seasonally in certain verticals. Um, and then you also can come up here under top brands and you can see all of the brands ranked in order of their popularity and demand on Google shopping. And then you can actually look at each brand's products. If you click on this one, for example. So right now we're only looking at this brand's products and their popularity. So you can pick a brand and then pick items that you want to sell from the brand if you're looking to start a business or expand your line. Maybe you're already selling some, but you're missing some top sellers. This is like the perfect way to find that. 
And then in the description of this video, I'll also include a link to this document, a little bit about the best sellers report from Google's end. And it has uh, some helpful information in here, a little bit about how it works. You can see the data is refreshed daily. And uh, let's see, the report uses shopping ads and free listing data is available to retailers who use shopping ads and or free listings. It doesn't include used products. The only thing I wish they included in here is a concrete reason why some accounts do or do not have this feature enabled. But if you've been using your account for a long time, you have the excellent rating on the shopping experience scorecard, chances are you probably have access to this or have access to it in at least one or two of your accounts. Someone does, I'm sure that you can leverage and uh, do some research. So let me know in the comments down below what you think of this tool. Is it useful? Um, are you going to start using it? And uh, yeah, appreciate you guys watching. Thanks. Hi everyone, Glenn from Solutions 8 here, and here we are in the Solutions 8 test kitchen. It's actually physically my kitchen <laughs> that I've got my office set up in. Um, but this is where I'll be um, running tests, experimenting with things, playing with things. And what I wanted to do is shoot you a quick video on how I use